warmth of his riders, but Belgium chocolate is barely in touch, but uh, Cadol's row is a further four length off the but we still have a chance, we certainly couldn't discount it as they go over the last on this section. And it was Lady Nefertiti that landed just in front of Road to Ruin. So they head around the turn that will take them on towards the cross fence. This will be the third from the finish. Lady Nefertiti from Flashing Icon, Dix Hill has now gone into third Road to Ruin. Probably Paul too hard and is dropping back. KJD is making headway. Padnell is losing his position. Then uh, behind that one, Kettle has made a couple of places. Jack Robinson is tailing off at the back of the field and they've now got two more to take. Lady Nefertiti from Dix Hill and the Flashing Icon, that's the one, two, three. As they race inside the final quarter mile, KKD has made progress. Goes into fourth, about five lengths off the lead as they come towards two from home. <coughs> and Dix Hill is now serving up the challenge to Lady Nefertiti. Flashing Icon Blunden has fallen when holding every chance at the second last. Lady Nefertiti and Dix Hill are the two that race on together. KJD has gone into third. Both horse and rider are safe at that tumble at the second last. Meanwhile, they're at the final fence. Dix Hill towards the near side is challenging Lady Nefertiti. Yeah, back in third, KJD. But it's Dix Hill who's got a splendour advantage. Lady Nefertiti is running. It's going to be close all the way to the finish. Dix Hill and Lady Nefertiti will lead the judge to separate those two. KJD was next in third. Kettles Grove stayed on late up the hill to finish uh, just behind those. They were trailed in by